Dadoosh. What is up, everybody? Going for a uh, Lua night fishing round two. I came with Rod Tevin last time. Had a couple monster sharks. Good session. So tonight we got pretty much double the amount of pulls out. Extra amount of fishing. A little more prepared, I guess. Tevin, Alvin came down day early. Got some bait, got ready. I just got off work, so I'm here too now. <laughs> right on, I'm stoked, dude. It's been a while since I went for any big boys. Hopefully you get lucky tonight. Hopefully you get lucky tonight, dude. It's perfect conditions, too. The waves were a little higher yesterday, but they died down today. Just a little surge, but it's not really hitting this point too hard. Perfect. I'm stoked, dude. It's gonna be a good night. Pretty good tide. Low tide is at 10 p.m. High tide, 5 a.m. So it's really just a perfect night fishing. New moon, gonna be dark. What, was new moon yesterday? Okay, almost new moon. Oh, is this recycled? Yeah. All right, put Full in the other darkness. one. Darkness. You guys are like set too, you got the points claimed. <laughs> <laughs> so I got that Tohei was on that rock last time. Yeah, that was a screamer, dude. Yeah, that was a big Tohei, my first one. <laughs> Getting all the gear ready. The tide change happens in about an hour, so we want to have everything set up and cherry for that. Live bait. Live bait. Live bait away. Oh yeah, that's a good mama right there. Going out. So like I said, we're going for the big game, the Lewis tonight. Live bait, the way to go. Bait out. Oh, so Aha just swam by, you see that? Yeah. Fatty Aha, is checking him out. Sick. Okay, we're officially fishing. Yeah. <laughs> now bait in the water. Oh. This was a whole eel. What? Oh, something came and pounded then. Yeah. Kevin's got some eel out, some puhi. Super prime chum. Start attracting things early. There. Nice. Okay, Tevin's perfected the location of this Mamo. Looking pretty good. I'm gonna check it out for a little bit more, make sure he's maximum mamo rificness so we aren't wasting our one precious Mamo to a bird. <laughs> <laughs> right on, dude. I'm gonna go finish up the setup on my other one. You see this rod yet, dude? So this thing is me. No, it's a, a custom rod by, so the eyes, the American Tackle Company makes these crazy eyes. These ones, like, it's got this little secondary hole in there and it makes it so it spins way more tight apparently and then the rod is like sick dude. Far, huge upgrade compared to my last like Walmart style ones I've been running for four years or whatever. Yeah, I'm stoked. Oh, again, I'm going. It's a trippy little guy there. We're gonna try out some of this floral carbon today, Bushido. It's made by the same guys as the ones who gave me this rod, uh, American Tackle Company. So it's the first time I'm gonna use floral carbon Pretty much. It's kind of it's 16 pound though, so it's kind of a little heavy, but it's all right. I'll figure them out. If nothing hits that, I'll go lighter. Something's going on, dude. <laughs> going something something on. is going on. You got a little something either chewing the hell out of it or like a puhi or I don't know. Okay, I'm all hooked up with a little dunk here. Oh yeah, you're getting toyed with again. <laughs> got my uh, dunk set up, taco leg. Gonna be my first cast right now of the evening. Got 30 pound main onto that little hook, circle hook. Uh, I think that's 12 pound lead line and then 50 pound for the main. Just gonna blast this guy out. Oh, I got that tree right there. Yee. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yep. Yeah, you. You need to bring mine in. We're good. Locked in still. Oh yeah, it's on there. Come on, snap. How strong is your lead line? Only twenty. Okay. Oh, perfect knots. <laughs> Too good of a knot. Yeah, the knots I are too knots. I only wrap them like four times. <laughs> he ain't gonna break though. No, what is that, 50? 
80. 80. Oh, yeah, he's stuck, dude. <laughs> that ball guy ain't gonna break him. This is 150. Powerful. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. You, hear, you can feel every single little vibration as things try to cut. Oh, uh, yeah. Pooey. <laughs> uh, big one. There's one trying to eat the pooey that I'm hanging down there. Nah. Dude, swallowed the whole thing. Oh. Stuck to the rope. So when I pulled him up, he like just opened his mouth oh. and fell back down. Oh, it's rubbing so hard right now. <laughs> The vibration of this pole, you can just feel it. Come on, I forgot. Oh, 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 goners. Lose everything. Goners. Oh, no. We still got the hook and the taco. Wow, crazy. I don't know what happened. Pulled it right out of his mouth. Oh, yeah, he was rubbing that line hard, dude. It's not at you. No, it wasn't. Oh, it's... yeah, there's no teeth marks. I don't know what that was. Huh. Okay. Right on. <laughs> Maybe it's just the big island running around. Yeah, the world's <laughs> moving around. Tectonic the plates. <laughs> Brought a Tevin's cooking up a little grinds. I'm just gonna do some light whipping for a minute. Have one of these little dollar fifty on sale lures that were uh, Jihara's and Hilo. Super good deal. This one looks pretty sick. It's like a little oama. And then I got that on a hammer bomb. Got from our friends at highfishgear.com. Try this combination out out here for a few minutes. See if anything wants to nibble some Oama looking fish. Oh, that's good. Yeah, buddy, it's a 1.5 ounce hammer bomb. Perfect for the size of lure I'm using right here. Oh, that lure looks sick. All right, time to check my dunk. It got a little baby whack, like probably a minute after I threw it in there, but since then nothing's going on, so I'm pretty sure the bait is gone. Ugh. Let's find out. See if I can pop this thing off, that'd be nice. Yep. Stoked when that happens. Yeah, bait is gone. Super gone. Hey, I'll step my hook size up a couple notches, eh? Go, 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 go! All right, we are going to go scope this little area here and hope that there happens to be some Oama that we can come and snaggle Fritz for some bait. This is where Brata Tevin had a little disaster last time. Minor kind hurt his ankle, but this time we're going a little slower. <laughs> <laughs> Keep all the precautions. All the precautions available. Bringing life vests. <laughs> yeah, I got some pillows. <laughs> yeah, strap, strap the pillow. <laughs> oh, the Kiave is in hot today. I think I put on my new tubbies. Yeah, this is just as caved in as last time. Oh, well, that area looks potentially sketch. <laughs> yeah, this area is getting less and less stable every time I come through here. Yeah. Yeah, there's some stuff in here, man. We need some more live bait, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do a walk down and back. If there's any llama. I'm gonna go grab the stuff. So we got a mm -hmm. pile of papillo right there. Llama. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's them, yeah? Yeah. That little pile right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a nice pile right there. Hanging out with the papillo. So caught my eye first. I said, wait, there's a bunch of little papillo. They're usually around though. Oh, nice size. Yeah. Okay, let's go get some lines, dude. We're gonna come back and oh, we'll yeah. catch a few of those llamas for sure. Yep. Oh, come on. There you go, dude. Yep. Wait. Oh, um, uh. These are really dark. These are super dark, Oama. Must be because of the area they're in. Maybe they change, because it's all black in here, so I bet if they oh, stay dark, it'll yeah, be yeah. more better for them. Oh, don't tell me I just threw you back in the wall. I'm so stupid. Oh, that one's gone. Catch and release again. Catch and release that, Oama. Blowing it. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, whoa! Oh. What the hell was that? <laughs> Thank you. Well, that fish bit my lead, no wonder. <laughs> that, looked like, that was like the fish. Yeah, yeah, something nice. <laughs> this one's not catch and release. <laughs> and we go. I'm stoked that we came over here to check it out. Another one bites the bait. Oh, and he fell down. Really perfect size Oama right here. Whoa, oh, that one was a strong little one. Couple back here. Yeah, here's a pile right by mine. Oh, they're coming back in, yeah. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Eating the bells. Oh, they landed on here. Oh! Okay, yeah. oh. <laughs> I think we should head back soon. Yeah. Okay, we're back at the campsite. Got my llama hooked up. Bunch in the bucket. Probably got 10, maybe more. Gonna send one out right now while the sun is setting. It's gonna be perfect time for this thing. Live bait this guy out. Thank you, Jaw. Perfect, so good. Hope I didn't just cross lines though. Nah, should be cherry. Whoosh. Boy is sending out the floaters. So we got two floaters with Oama, one dunk. Are you hooked? Oh, I saw that got tucked, dude. What was that, dude? I don't know. <laughs> He racked it, dude. I saw him suck it down. You seen the floater go down? Yeah. Man. All right, got all the Oamas in the live bait well. Now we wait for the action. And then set up all the rest of the lure rigs. Okay, before it gets too dark, I'm gonna show you guys something pretty sick. There's a science project going on in which they're trying to tag sharks to get an idea of uh, interaction rates basically when people interact with sharks. It's set on by the University of Hawaii yeah, yeah. and uh, NOAA, it's like a combo run by Dr. Malene Hutchinson. So they had a meeting like uh, earlier this week in Kona and then they handed out shark tagging stuff to all the people that went and then if you tag a shark you get 50 bucks a tag. Fifty bucks a tag. Yeah, bounty on them. Does it have to be what shark? Any shark they said. Tag sharks, any shark, 50 bucks a tag. You fill out this little sheet right here. It's got all kinds of information, how you caught it, how it looked, sex, big size, the species. That's, it's, that's cool, dude. Males have these little things on it called claspers. They gave you this little like packet like telling you all this stuff too. And then on the bottom of males, they have these things called claspers. These things are on the back by the tail. Oh, okay. And if it has that, it's guaranteed a male. Here's the tags, dude. They're pretty mean. They're like little razor blades, dude. Yeah, right? They're not messing around with these things. <laughs> Boy, that them. cuts true. Yeah, they give you equipment to make yourself one of these, but they happen to have some pre-made, so they just gave me this one. It's like the shark tagger. These little tags here mount into the tip there in that little gap, and then you just, just like, bang. boom, sticks inside. You hit them on the dorsal fin, the top one at a 45 degree angle going down and from the side. And the idea is that 
the tag goes in and it gets stuck under the uh, bones that descend from the dorsal and they get stuck okay. in there good. And then the tag will stay. Pretty sick little program, dude. <laughs> Bro, especially with tagging sharks, it's like way more better. Yeah, it's nuts, dude. So it's the first one of its kind here. It's more of adrenaline. Yeah, like they don't have any like shark tagging information out here yet, so it's really like a pilot program. It's just kind of starting up, but it's sick that they give you a bounty. They yeah, figure, cool. yeah, they figure that it's easier to have the fishermen just go out and do it than them to be out there like 24/7 trying to catch sharks. Yeah, I'm gonna set this thing up. They have like little rubber bands and you put them on top. It's the guide right here, how to stick it on. All right, you want it sticking on the out like that. And did they just give it to you or you had to buy the tags? No, they gave them to you. You just gotta go to their little like class thing. Oh, that's sick. It's easy to set up, dude. Yeah, it's not like, a, they need people to do it. It's not like there's like choke people out there nailing sharks. The study is primarily for like pelagic, like the deep sea ones, but I was talking to her and she's like, no, we don't have any information on like anything about these sharks. So any shark you see, tag it, because we want to know what's going on. Wow, it's pretty sick. It stays on there nice. Oh, Shark Tagger is ready to go. Oh, that is sharp, buddy. <laughs> Freaking razor blade on this thing right there. Got our first legit poo here of the night, huh? Oh, he just took him down. Oh, he majorly took it down. You see your bobber down there by the coral head. You can? Yeah. See him to the left over there, he wrapped it. Damn. There's the bobber over there, and then yeah, he wrapped his whole coral head. Oh, he's super wrapped it, dude. Good on rubbing, too. Maybe you take him on the point and you can pull him out from the front side. Oh, dude, just, you see him peek out, like, look it's at like us. Right there, yeah, just stop. Yeah. Oh, is that him? Oh, what a beautiful sunset. Wow. That golden lining over there. Oh, the clouds just perfectly lined up, too. Oh, it's pulling line. Not? Yeah. What the hell is going on? You can see something on the left side there. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like that side, it's like kind of getting cloudy. Yeah. Maybe it is at you. Wrap it back around this side of the point. See if you can unwedge that It's like a 2% chance of happening, but you never know. <laughs> Tevin's getting his slide back out. Said he just saw a fat Omulu. But uh, yeah, I don't have any lines ready to send that. Oh, shoot, son. Mahalo. Oh, you went through one, like a little cave right there, I think. It's weird though, because the bobber is kind of like free floating, but there's so much tension on it still. Oh, I'm a goner. No wonder nothing was whacking. Gone. gone! I got everything back, but the llama's not there. Changed my hook. Oh, i has gone. Changed my hook. Grabbing another one. Ugh. Get the last little bit of sun. Yeah. Back out, no doubt. 